Let's talk about everything that I carry with me when I'm out adventure riding. What's up everyone, Matt here and you're watching TS Moto Adventures. Now, when you're out riding, odds are you've got a couple things you like to carry around with you all the time. Well, I got a bunch of stuff that I keep on the DRZ and I wanna talk about what I carry with me when I'm doing off-road adventures. Let's start at the front of the bike. On the front, I've got this Tusk Fender tube pack. Inside of there, I like to keep spare tubes for the DRZ, and it also has tire spoons inside of it in case I need to swap a tire off-road. One thing to remember when carrying spare tubes, you can always fit a larger tube into a smaller tire. You can't fit a smaller tube into a larger tire. So for most of you, what that translates to is if you can only carry one tube, carry one for your front tire because odds are it's bigger than your rear. If you have a problem with your rear, that tube will still fit in there and you can get yourself out of whatever situation you're stuck in. Next up, I typically have my Garmin Zumo XT. This is a GPS navigator that allows me to figure out where the hell I am. It's great because I can upload GPS tracks onto this for whatever route that I'm planning on riding, or I can record whatever random route I decide to do that day. It also gives me turn-by-turn -turn navigation to most searchable places. A lot of people ask about GPSs and whether they should use their phone with an app or a proper GPS. I highly recommend having an actual GPS because guess what? It works everywhere. And the big advantage is if you have a situation where you need your phone for something, the battery is not dead because you haven't been navigating with it all day. Now, along with that, I do have a quad lock mount on my handlebar so I can put my phone down. Occasionally, I do use my phone to navigate or I'm listening to music and it's nice to have it in front of me so I can easily like skip tracks or something. I did experience the situation where I managed to break my Zumo mid-ride and didn't have a phone mount on the bike. So I'd end up zip tying my phone to the Zumo mount on the bike to be able to actually navigate the rest of the route. So I do recommend having some kind of phone mount with you just in case. Personally, I'm partial to Quadlock. It's been phenomenal for me. I'm absolutely in love with it, and I've been meaning to do a review video, which I'll get around to eventually, I promise. But in the meantime, if you are interested in getting a Quadlock phone case or mount for your bike, go ahead and check my affiliate link in the description below. You can get 10% off your first order from Quadlock. Next up, I've got my tank bag here, and inside of this, I keep some spare charging cables for both my phone, my Pack Talk Bold, as well as my cameras. I also tend to keep some batteries in here just in case. I like to have hand sanitizer. You never know when you're gonna need it. I keep a headlamp in here, and I also keep stickers that I hand out to my friends and fellow riders. Everyone loves stickers, especially when they got dual sports. They love slapping those things on everywhere. Now moving on to the back, I've got Moscow Moto Backcountry 35 Panniers as well as a Rotopax fuel tank. It's uh, approximately two gallons on that Rotopax. And the nice thing about that is it is almost an entire full tank of gas for the DRZ. So that means that I can extend my range by about 100 to 120 miles depending on the riding conditions that I'm in. You may ask, why the hell don't you just put a bigger tank on the DRZ? And well, the answer is I've been lazy. But it is in my plans this year to put a bigger tank on the DRZ. Inside of my Moscow bags, I got a couple things here. On the right side, I keep my tools. This is everything that I need to work on my bike when I'm in the middle of nowhere. One big thing I also recommend with your tools is when you work on your bike at home in the garage, be sure to try to use those tools or similar tools to those so you know you have the stuff that you actually need when you're off-road. I also keep a battery powered tire inflator with me just in case. This Fantic one is great. I use it all the time to reinflate my tires after my bikes have been sitting for a while. And it also comes in handy because you can use it to inflate tires in a car. It's rated to be able to inflate four full size car tires. So inflating two little tires on a dual sport is super duper easy for it. And the battery tends to last quite a while. It's also got a flashlight built in. So, you know, it's a dual purpose item. Now, unfortunately, you may need something a little bit more than just a tire inflator. That's why I carry a patch and plug kit on the bike as well. This allows me to patch tube tires and also put plugs in tubeless type tires. On the left side, I keep some spare cables. I've got a little tripod. I've got the selfie stick for my Insta360 and GoPros. Sometimes you see it mounted to my handlebars for a shot looking back at me, but most of the time I don't use that because for some reason or another, my GoPro decides to not work. Finally, the last thing that I keep on here is a trauma kit along with some spare gloves and masks. This trauma kit's from Dan Dan the Fireman. Definitely check out his videos on motorcycle safety if you haven't already. This is one of the first gen kits that he came out with. The newer ones seem to have a, a bit more stuff in them, but this one is still 
phenomenal. It's something I hope I never have to use, but something I'm really glad that I carry with me every day. Now, the very last thing that I always keep on the bike with me is two bottles of water. This is really nice to have because if you're ever in a situation where you're riding with someone and they don't have water and they need some, you can easily pass it off to them. Or if you're like me and you forget your hydration pack 90% of the time when you go on shorter rides, you've got water just in case. Overall, I try not to keep a lot with me on the bike all the time, but it kind of varies depending on what I'm doing. If I'm out at a rally, I definitely tend to keep a little bit less on the bike just because I have the advantage of being able to go back to base camp every day. But one of the things that I pretty much always carry on there no matter what is my spare fuel. What kind of stuff do you carry on your bike? I'm always interested to see what fellow riders have out there. Sometimes they've got something really, really cool that you need to add to your pack. And sometimes you've got something really, really cool that they wanna to add to theirs. So leave a comment and let me know what cool stuff you have in your bike pack. If you like this video and you're interested in checking out more, be sure to check out these two over here. I totally recommend them. And as always, remember, ride safe.